This is a new chapter. It's chapter seven. We're going to talk about time. And in this video, we're going to talk about minutes. This is lesson 7.1. There's 60 seconds in one minute. And one minute is about how long it would take us to count to 60. So what can we do in one minute? What can we do in the time that it takes to count to 60? You can try it. You can try counting to 60 and see how long it feels to you. Can we get ready for school in one minute? Can you get ready for school in the time it takes you to count to 60? Can you get up, eat breakfast, put on your school clothes, get your schoolwork all in your book bag and get your lunch ready and brush your teeth? Can you do all that in the time it takes to count to 60? No, it's going to take a lot longer than counting to 60 to do that, wouldn't it? So it would take longer than a minute. So that would be a no. Could you pour a glass of milk in one minute? In the time that you, you can count to 60, can you open the refrigerator, get the milk out, take the cap off, pour it into a glass, and put the milk back? It's a very good chance you could. You could do that in about a minute. It doesn't take very long to pour a glass of milk. Can we put a coat on in one minute? Can you go to the closet, get your coat, put it on? Yeah, we could probably do that in the time that it would take to count to 60. We could do that in about a minute. What about reading a book in one minute? Could you read a whole book in the time it takes to count to 60? No, it takes a little bit longer to read a book, doesn't it? So that would be a no. So a minute is about the time that it takes to count to 60 and there's some things we can do and some things we can't because we need more time. Now here is a picture of a clock and you can see there are 12 numbers. It goes in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 all the way around. See that? And there's big dark lines. See these big dark lines? And you see the little lighter lines? Well, the big dark lines represent hours, and the little lighter lines represent minutes. And there's two hands. They call these hands. So a clock has hands. Isn't that something? And the small red one is for hours, and this big blue one is for minutes. And some clocks have a second hand that goes around. My clock here has a second hand. Here's the hour hand. It's shorter. The minute hand is longer. And see the second hand? It goes around one time in the time we can count to 60. See? That'd be about 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See? And mine kind of stops each time a second goes by. So... Every time the second hand goes around one time, this minute hand moves one little tiny mark, one little line. Every time the minute hand goes around one time, the hour hand moves to the next number. We're going to talk about this a lot in this chapter. All right, so I'm not expecting you to learn this all right now. This is just an introduction. So chapter seven is all about time and how to tell time on an analog clock. A clock that has hands like this and the numbers like this is called an analog clock. And that's a digital clock. It just shows you the numbers, see? And you can see down here the little word, the little letters AM, that stands for morning. And PM would be evening, and we're gonna talk about that too, okay? so. This whole chapter is about time, and hopefully by the time we're finished with this chapter, you'll be able to tell time if you don't already know how. So I'll see you next video. Bye.